Hey guys, sunshine here. So, okay you guys, so basically it's wash time because my hair has had it. I have had so many weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of manipulating my hair. I have not washed it just yet. But I'm on the go today, it's Saturday and I have to do some family time and go out and get some things for the home and, and all kind of stuff. I need to shop for new pants you guys because I'm now in like, a size I dare not tell you, but I'm in. I'm there, and my all my other pants are droopy, and so I need new slacks for work. New pants, period. So the tugging on my hair right now is the fact that usually when it's time for me to wash, I will throw my hair up in a puff. But today I think I'm going to bun it. Okay, I haven't done a bun in a long time. So in order to do the bun, I am going to need my stretchy band. I'm going to need a little donut. Some people use one. Some people don't. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You're going to need hairpins, like so. You're going to need a moisturizer and you may need, um, oh, my moisturizer is uh, Dip Hair and Body Moisturizer by Sisters Keeper, sisterskeeper.biz, sisterskeeper.biz. And, um, and I don't usually use hair gel. Um, I just started kind of experimenting with hair gel and so, um, so I may not use any today. So first thing I'm gonna do is going to moisturize my hair with the Sisters Keepers dip. I put a little bit on my finger and I just kind of go through my hair like this. I'm pulling toward the top and so that I can get the bun up where I want it. So I do that. Then I take a brush and I brush up here. Get it slick around the edges, okay? And see, as you guys see, like when I pull on my hair like this, it taut like that with no hair gel, that's what I get. So I don't generally use um, hair gel because it will make my hair a little too hard. And so I like to keep it soft. I do want hold though. So now that my hair is a little bit longer than it used to be, it stays up without really falling down. Sometimes I'll just use a hairpin back there or I will um, um, put a little bit of castor oil to keep it up. Okay, or a little bit of castor oil. So what I do is I take my stretchy band like this and I start up the back, this, okay. And then I begin to cross it and get the puff as big as I want. Now, usually I'll puff my hair with the band like this. And you guys, like if I decide to just leave my puff like this, I could. Um, you know, I have a big puff. Depending on how tight you tie it, you can have a more secure puff like that. So again, I take my band and I like it. Like you guys, you can really determine how big or small you want your puff if you cut your bands in half, okay? If you try this, let me know in the comment box, okay? So I crisscross like this, and I'm going to tie, because I think that's a good place to keep it. And then I'm just going to tuck, just tucking in the extra bands there, tucked it. And then I'm going to take my little donut. Okay. Donut. Pull it around my hair. Like so. Okay. I'm just reaching in and grabbing the hair. Pushing it to where I want it to be, okay? And it should look like so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the Sisters Keeper um, product to my edges, okay? And I am going to use my brush to slick it. And I'm going to go ahead and tie my scarf or my wrap around to kind of set it. OK, 
okay while I am creating the bun okay like so so I'm going to begin by evenly spreading the hair out so I can see exactly where it's going to fall over the donut. Some people would take um, another band and it probably would be easier that way to put a band here and then scrunch under. But I do that and then I start to just roll the hair under the bun like so. I start rolling the hair under the donut, I'm sorry, not bun. And then I will start to see the shape that it's going to make. Okay? And then I'll start pinning my bun. Okay? So... Just kind of spread the pins apart, making sure that no stray hair is out. Okay, like that. You guys can go in and put as many pins as you want to there. As long as it is secure and even. You can make it more messy if you want to. It's totally up to you. I am seeing that my scarf isn't as tight as I want it to keep my hair Slick or smooth because some people don't like the word slick for some odd reason. Okay. 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 Just a little. So that is my bun. I am going to put the tie about right there. I know I'm looking crazy now <laughs> until I can get it as sleek as I want it. So in the meantime, I'm going to tell you guys about my lips. I have on Max Frost A52 and it looks like that. And I purchased this color because, oh, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I purchased this color because I wanted to, it to match my new coat from H&M. This is my new coat, $39.95. It's more of like a red orange, not a burnt, a burnt orange like I wanted. However, I love this jacket. What do you girls think? You like it? So that's my new coat. So I purchased a lippy for that. And my eyes today, usually when you see me wearing blue eyeshadow, like this, I'm usually channeling this lady. This is my mom and she loved blue eyeshadow. She wore blue eyeshadow like every single day back in the 70s, 80s. So every time I put on blue, it always reminds me of her. So. That's the blue eyeshadow, and I'm sure I could keep this on longer, but I think you guys got the point. So, you guys can, of course, set your hair for a longer period of time if you want, okay, but I have to go. So, here's my bun, and I hope you girls enjoyed this. Bye.